Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream. Um, we're doing we're doing a part four, okay? I like this though. Each YouTube video is gonna be like each route. So um, this route is gonna be um, Angle Higre, I think is how you say his name. So yeah, let's do it. Um, apparently we have to do math again. We have to do math. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we'll get to skip at least those. But I don't even recognize this character. I don't know that we have seen him. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I'm looking at the picture on the guide, and, uh, and I don't recognize him. Yes, Karen Terry's okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, I want the human portraits. I like them. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna join the infirmary staff first. <clears throat> yep, all the intros. Let's do all the intros. Intro dance. Oh yeah, fun, fun. Okay, we can skip this too. So if you're just catching me here, we have done so far the route for Ryota, Nageki, and Mr. Nanaki, okay? That's who we have done so far. And, uh, and we're about to do Higure, Angela Higure. What is this? Oh, this is um, introducing the doctor. We don't need to do this either. Yep, introducing Okasan. We know we're good. Any rooms away? Okay, this is choosing the student council thingy. Finally, gonna get to our. Okay, so here we go. This starts the route. So we're gonna choose infirmary staff. <clears throat> That's everyone. Okay. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Today's an elective day. Okay. And we have to study math every time, which we have done before, so we're gonna um, fast forward the math classes, too. We've seen them all. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to help at the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep them waiting. Better hurry. So this is Yuya. This is, oh, this is the, the brother. So he's the cool guy. Salutations, Karen. Yuya, what's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me, but no, I am the second in command here. You are? I would have never guessed. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally, I'd do that. But today, I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course. May thanks, Karen. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu. Yuya flutters out the door. He just asked me out? Yeah, I think he just like instantly asked me out. Um, <laughs> anyway, cleaning. Some of these drugs are a little weird. No matter how you look at it, is this really an infirmary? It feels more like a human or rather avian experimentation room. Yeah, okay. Something weird is going on there, you guys. Uh, the desk drawer is open and there are files sticking out. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up. Yuya did not, did, did say not to go near the desk, but I think I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll neaten the desk. Just putting the files back in order should be... F Who is this? Oh, this guy. You again. D -d -d Doctor, when did you... I just got back, but... Oh my, we have sticky fingers, don't we? That's not it. Um, Sakazaki asked me to clean. Clean? Oh, I see. You're on the staff now. Yes. Did he say anything about going near the desk? Yes, sir. Please, do be more careful next time. Curiosity killed the cat, among other things. <laughs> yeah, but satisfaction brought it back. No one talks about that part of the saying. Yes, sir. Let's never do that again. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike. Okay, yes, we know about the class hike. 
So for this one, we're gonna do, I guess anytime that we're not supposed to talk to one of these, like Kazuki is the default option because it says we're supposed to talk to him again. We'll do that, we'll take our nap. We'll take our nap with teacher. Okay, we're gonna do math class. Math every time. Okay, um, and then next, sports festival, yes. We're gonna think about what we wanna do. Um, for this route, we need to go to the first aid tent. Okay, we're gonna go to the first aid tent. Salutations! Did you come to gaze into my eyes, mon ami? Um, I heard the first aid team was shorthanded. Alas! Spurned for the sake of medicine, I must work harder to prove my love! Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Uh, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond me, mon ami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes or something? A lot of birds graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's just checking up on them. Oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. So I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with Utah. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent, I think. Okay. The first barrier for all students who make it this far is midterm exams. Okay, we know, we already know about that. And we know that we're doing better on midterm exams because we've been taking math. Okay, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Come on. Okay, so it's 6.22, so I need to go to the infirmary. You again? Are you ill? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... Okay, so this time, finally... We're not going to click skip, skip class. We're going to click hear your voice. I wanted to hear your voice. My voice? Yes, you sound like Snufkin. What's the Snufkin? And? Um, don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? You're even stranger than I thought. I'm fascinated. I would love to experiment on you. Sadly, I'm busy at present. Please go elsewhere. Okay. I got kicked out. I get kicked out no matter what? What? I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction. Or is it? <clears throat> okay, now we're going to do math again. Go. Okay, there's probably a bamboo tree. Okay, so this is 7-7. Seven, seven. For 7-7, seven, seven, we're supposed to... Mad love of fall what? Huh? Why didn't it work? That's not one of the options. It says I'm supposed to choose the mad love of a fallen angel, but I don't see that option. Can I not do this route? So we could do shoes route. I was trying to do this route, but it's I don't see the option. Maybe I have to like beat some other routes before I can do it. But anyway, everything we've done so far is is for shoes route. So I guess we'll go we'll do shoes route instead of the angel one. So hopefully we'll see the option for the angel one later. So anyway, for his we're supposed to or maybe I'm just, maybe I just need a different guide. This is I'm supposed to choose the mad love of an, of an angel. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're going to choose rule the world from the shadows. So we're doing shoes route now. We're doing shoes route. <laughs> I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, Terry? Mr. Nanaki. Oh, okay. This is the thing that we've already seen. Um, We, we tell him no thank you for shoes route. No thank you. No. No, I won't. Don't worry. Okay, elective. Um. Oh, and it is math for him. Anyway, so we're okay. 
We haven't messed up anything. We should still get shoes ending. <clears throat> Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to head to the infirmary. Karen! What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much, just... Have you heard of the seven mysteries of St. Pigeonation, Karen? This school even has its own horror stories. Oh, do tell. Yeah, well, there's the one that says sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary only to show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens in the school store. Sounds like an urban legend to me. It does, but Dr. Owami's pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but, well, you're a girl, Karen. I'm a little worried. That's true. I'll be careful. Ryota's always been one to overthink things. Anyway, can't help keep, can't keep you to waiting. Excuse me. Huh? Yuta and the doctor are talking about something. You really think I hadn't noticed? You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I have told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look too good. Um... Karen, there you are, mon ami. Karen can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. I, I had forgot what his voice was. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, doctor. Right, mon ami? Just what's going on here? It sounds like the doctor suspects Yuta of having searched his desk while he was out. I came straight from the classroom to here, so Yuta's obviously lying. I... Was with Yuta or was in my classroom? Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm supposed to choose, so for shoes root, I'm supposed to choose, I was in the classroom, I'm supposed to tell the truth. Okay, we're going to tell the truth. Come on. Click it. There we go. I don't even know what's going on yet. I can't just lie through my teeth. No, I was in the classroom until just now. Ryuta was there too. He was lying. Shit. Well done, Miss Terry. I'm glad our new assistant is so astute. What a pity, Yuta. It would seem that you are somewhat in lacking basic truthfulness. I think we need to have a long, serious discussion. Alone. I'm sorry, Miss Terry, but could you leave? This is important. Holy shit. I should have just lied. Why am I such a snitch? I got kicked out again. You just face looked pretty bad. Dr. Iwam Iwamini Wamine praised me, but what on earth is going on? Yeah, something crazy. Something absolutely fucking bonkers. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Oh wait, I know I did well because it's math. There we go, we're good. Today's the last day. Okay, yes, we've seen this. I should probably find out if I need to come to school to clean the infirmary at all. Oh, so it's new. Okay, cleaning? Well, I will be here just about every day. The building is open, but there isn't any real need for you to come too. There's nothing I could do to help? No. Was there anything else? Um... Okay, this is 7.20. Oh, let's talk about missing students. I kind of wonder about what Yuta said last week. Maybe I'll test the waters. Um, sir, I heard that sometimes students disappear after coming in here and... Who told you? No one in particular. Everybody's talking about it. It's kind of like a school legend or something. So you believe in urban legends? What? No, not really. Just that it would be kind of cool if it were true. Then we shall leave it at that. That would be cool if you were to disappear or something like that. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have expected a straight answer in the first place. I can never tell what the doctor is thinking when I talk to him. Why would that be cool? I guess to a high schooler, it seems like kind of cool. Okay, so it's summer vacation. We're doing our, we're doing our little thing. We're doing our little thing with the girly. <clears throat> still a long time until the semester starts and I still have a lot of homework okay, there is something today okay oh it's the part time job so we do not get the part time job on shoes route ok 
Okay, local summer festival. Let's see, who can we invite? Oh good, we can invite Shu. Okay. Shu, come with me to the festival. What do you want? Ah, it's the doctor. Ah! Not all. I'm going home. Sorry, I just hadn't thought you'd actually come. But I didn't have anything better to do, so I decided that even if it was like a 0.05% chance, it was still worth trying. You invited me based on a chance like that? Fascinating. I think I want to try and study primate pathology next. That aside, what did you want? I wanted to go to the festival with you. A festival? Forgive me, but don't describe... But I don't describe to idle superstition. I think 99.95% of people there will be just there for fun, not religion. Very well. I shall accompany you. In exchange for your left arm, of course. My, my left arm? Oh, would that pose problems to your active and youthful high school lifestyle? I shall accept a lock of your hair instead, then. Um, okay. Yep, he's a pervert. Yippee! <laughs> Not surprised. The fireworks. Fireworks are marvelous. You mean, even you like fireworks, sir? Naturally. Such potential. If only I could so be so grossly incandescent. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure I want to know what he's thinking about. Yeah, why would you want to be incandescent? I mean, that would be cool, right? But like, what? I enjoyed myself tonight. Thank you, Miss Harry. And so he left, a satisfied expression on his face. I'm a little worried that he was trying to study me, but I'm glad he had fun. The late sunset in summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. I think I'll get some udon and go home before I get life counseled. Oh, there he is. Wait, isn't that the doctor? Good evening, doctor. Ah, <gasps> uh, it's you. Is this any hour pro high school student to be wandering about? Huh? There's mud on his wing. Little of this city's nocturnal entertainment is to be admired. Perhaps you should go home. I am going to um, ask what he's doing or go home. I'm going to ask what he's doing. What's you doing out here, Shu? Um, sir? Yes. What are you doing out here, sir? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was on my way home. I just happened to pass by. But if you were just walking around, how'd you get all muddy? I had forgotten that primates retain their keen sense of vision in the dark. Informative, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Good night. Well, wait, you didn't answer my question. Throwing something away. Huh? I was disposing of some things I no longer needed. And so he hurried away into the night. God, he's so fucking suspicious. What are you doing? Throwing something away? What? Littering is bad, doctor. What is he doing? Are they turning people into birds? Is that what's going on here? Because some birds are still birds. We learned that in the very first run. Ah, I know I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Okay. This is 8.30. Is there anything? Okay. No. It doesn't matter. We're here early. We're gonna return to my glorious home. There we go. Yep. We're gonna go. Okay. So the next thing is... Oh, oh shit. I did not mean to fast forward that. Can I go back? Oh, here's the preferences. Oh no! I did not mean to skip that scene. I think it was a new scene. Okay, what if we just start over and skip to, straight to 9-3? Dang it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'll, I'll cut this part out for YouTube. Um, we don't have any saves to load. No, we don't have any. Okay, we'll just skip straight to 9-3. Skip everything. New game. Any teacher will do, right? Okay, and then we go to the doctor. Okay, so here's the new scene. So, back, action. Doctor? Good afternoon. What is it this time? Um, I found someone's student ID, and I thought maybe you would know what to do with it. Isn't that something for the staff room? I'll bring it all the way here. It was closer, and they've started printing out tests in there already, so I'm not sure if I can go in. 
There's no need for excuses, long young lady. Leave it here and get out, please. Yes, sir. Wait, Miss Terry. Huh? Where did you find this? Um, it was on the staircase between the first and second floors on the south side. I see. Ho oh, ho. It wouldn't do to have someone finding it and asking questions. I am indebted to you, Miss Terry. Asking questions? Nothing you need to worry about. Please, do be careful on your way home. Okay, the math teacher and this doctor are in league on some bullshit. For sure. What was all that about? He certainly is as strange as ever. Yeah, super strange. Math class. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, today is the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe and I'm not scheduled. Don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. A whole bunch of clubs have food stalls outside. They looked good when I was coming in, so maybe I'll go get something for lunch. Okay, so this is a new scene here. Wait, isn't that... A familiar silhouette floats by on the other side of the crowded schoolyard. Dr. Iwamine? I thought he'd be cooped up in the infirmary doing something boring today. Maybe I should ask him to eat lunch with me. I'll... Yes, we're going to invite him to lunch. I have to catch up to him first. Um, he did go this way, right? Uh, did I lose him? Where did he go? There aren't even any stands set up here, and there's nothing in the pamphlet about anything outside the main area. The only thing back here is the incinerator. Who goes there? The doctor! I was following him up until a minute ago, but now he's behind me? Oh, it's you. Talking is bad habit, young lady. No, I wasn't. I was just wondering what you were doing. Is it a crime to walk about one's own school? But there's nothing back here. There's an incinerator. But why? I was placed in charge of the science club activities today. I just came back here to get rid of some things that were left over. Unneeded things. Things. My hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me to change the subject. Oh, right, sir. Um, would you like to walk around together? I heard the haunted house is- No, thank you. At least he let me finish inviting you before you refuse. As I said, I'm supervising the science club, so I do not have time for patronization. Okay. And so I returned to the cafe, scared off by his obstinance with my own survival instinct. Terry, Karen, if only I could tell you how she plans her actions. I could deal with her fairly easy. Troubling. I plan my actions with this guide I found on the internet. Ah! I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Oh, we have seen this. Um, I think we're going to have to choose a different option this time, though. And we have to decide with um, which shoe this time. <clears throat> okay, so I will side with shoe. You should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Yes, yes, yes. Even... Oh, okay, let's do the voices. Even the students disrespect you. Pathetic. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier today instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil? Okay, so really nothing changed. I just said she was right. We're supposed to go to the infirmary today. Better hurry. Excuse me? Huh? Yes. Where's Sakazaki? Didn't he come yet? Mr. Sakazaki won't be here today. Or tomorrow. Or the day after. Ho 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 ho. Um, why did you... He's been absent for almost a month now. I never realized. Did something happen? Who knows? He... Well, it's never a very good student. No one's surprised to see him playing hooky again. Ho, 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 ho. You know something about it, don't you, sir? Me? Of course not. I know only what happens within this little room. That somewhat alluring, slightly evil smile on his face tells me all I need to know. He had a hand in this. You do know something. Sleeping pills. Huh? Sleeping pills. Sleeping all the time. What are you standing around for? You're his replacement now. Count our supplies and mark down anything we're low on. I don't think that counts as an explanation. Yuya skipping school, I never thought of him as the type. And he hasn't even called me. Why did you decide to become an assistant here, Miss Terry? 
because um I I like you, sir. <gasps> Is that so? What a coincidence. I think I'm starting to like you too. Though I can't say I thought much of you at first. He likes me? Is that good or bad? My heart's racing, but I can't tell if it's love or fear for my life. I wonder where you you went. Uh oh. What's going to happen? We got our finals back today. Oh, okay. Yep, that's fine. Today is Christmas, but Christmas is too mainstream, so I'm not celebrating, which is to say, my family is Shin Buddhist. Huh, there's someone at the door. Howdy, Pelican Express here with a package for Miss Terry, Terry Karen. <laughs> Sign here, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, little girl. Have a good one. I wonder what it is. I don't think I've ordered anything recently. It's from Dr. Iwamine. Oh, there's even a letter. I greatly appreciate your hard work in the infirmary. I hope this suits your taste. Merry Christmas. He really has nice handwriting. Let's see what's in here. It's a big box and a small one. And beside the small box is a quill pen. It's beautiful. A real white bird feather. Is he giving this to me? It looks pricey. Yeah, who else had white feathers? Who? Who else had white feathers? Yuya had white feathers. The big one is... Huh? It looks like a roast chicken. Oh! <gasps> Or maybe a turkey? I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's still warm. You must have had it delivered in a hurry. Thank you, Dr. Yum. <gasps> Did I just eat Yuya? I just ate Yuya. I ate my classmate. God. The sun. Okay. The sun, yes. Okay, new year. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're gonna go for the district. Oh my god, I can't believe I ate my classmate for Christmas. What the fuck? What in the fuck? Okay, we, we're supposed to pick a different thing this time. I think it's the same scene, but we're supposed to pick Fulfillment and Conquest. Oh my god, it's not clicking again. Come on. Here we go. Here you go. Thanks for you too. You're here all day? Okay. I don't think this changes anything. What was my fortune? Oh, we got this one again. Osechi Blessing. That's a good one. Oh no, we're missing it again. So what are you here for, sir? I just happened to be passing by. But there's nothing else here. Why would you be... Is it a crime to aimlessly wander the city in the morning? N no, I was just wondering. Such a crowd, all at once. And as you said, there's nothing else around here. Who would notice if one or two were to disappear? Well then, goodbye, Miss Terry. Oh my god, he's so fucking suspicious. Happy New Year, creepy doctor man. Yeah, creepy fucking doctor man. Okay, Happy New Year, everyone. Okay, this is the same. A little bit. It's still light outside, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Okay, we already know about this one. Okay, we're supposed to pick Racing Glen. I'll take these. Yep. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to a special somebody. I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged in sweet embrace with a stack of papers at his desk. He didn't even look at me, from, and from his voice, he wants me to leave. Do you know what day it is, doctor? February, oh, February 3rd. He glances at the calendar above his desk and then returns to his papers. The anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. What? Re really? Of course, test tube babies have been successfully grown before then. Why do you care about that, Shu? What did you want? Were you hoping I would transfer you to an avian ovum? No! No, I wasn't. That's really weird. Why would you do that in interspecies? Strange. N no, I'd have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about bird eggs in a school infirmary. It's legolomentine, sir. You give beans to a boy you like, so here. You're giving these to me? Yes. He finally looks over at me, but his expression is still no. It's changed to something else. These are quite elegant. Yes, I got the most expensive ones for you, sir. But these were sold to you as some sort of luxury. Such a thing would never have occurred to us if we lived long ago. To think that we live in a society where price is completely disconnected from the amount of nutritional value. Is this a roundabout way of saying that the beans aren't worth their price tag? The brain comes from the fact that they were expensive alone. Fascinating. I shall experiment on them later. No, you're supposed to eat them. The nutritional value and appearance aren't important. The important part is the fact that I gave them to you, today. 
50 beans that anyone would get with the money. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> Your resistance only makes my maiden heart burn stronger for you, doctor. In that case, I'll bring you beans that I grew myself next year. Just you wait. This year is almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday. This is the last day I have infirmary duty as well. Okay, here we go. The doctor's not here yet. The infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. The orderly rows of medicines and neatly made be... Huh? Something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtains. I'm scared. Uh-oh. The sheets are stained brilliant red. At the foot of the bed sits a wash bin. It's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers in the bottom. The blood on the bed is still wet. This is... The students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. Yuya. That mysterious smile the doctor gave me when I asked him. I, I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone. I have to report it to the police. Anyway, I need to get away. I need to get out before he... You're early today, Miss Terry. <gasps> You're rather pale. Why don't you lie down? Doctor. This blood... Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student and hadn't cleaned up yet. Please, pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He... He... The... The door is locked. Going home so soon? I... It won't open. Indeed it won't. After all, there are so many bad looking boys and girls who to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. The doctor, you... You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments. You really need to ask me. After all, it helped me. Helped you? I, I would never. Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. You brought back the idea card of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out then. We can't leave things like this lying around now, can we? Then, Yuya. What did you do to Yuya? Oh, I thought you'd figured it out already. He's in here, Miss Terry. In here. The doctor reached over and lightly stroked my stomach. I did eat him. I did eat him. The... The big one is, huh? It looks like a roast chicken. Oh my god, I ate at him. I ate at you. Or Yuya. I keep saying Yuya. His name's Yuya. I ate Yuya. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body, so we don't really know exactly where he is now, do we? That, you can't be. No, no, no. How did you taste? I was worried. He might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That was Yuya. <laughs> That's a beautiful face, Miss Terry. I have longed so dearly to see myself. You could tell from the start I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very sort of you. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Was that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't? Have feelings for me, perhaps? No, I want to say, but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside. I love the doctor. I'm afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your earnestness. And so, I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pity, and I think I want to keep you by my side. Forever. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me. So why can't I move? So this is what I decided. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Why can't I put my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry. You won't go to waste. I will make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Suddenly, he has a cleaver in his left wing. You have traced after death's allure most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now. For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly. The world twists, soaked in red. And so, my life came to an end. We have an emergency report from the Pigeonation Project. The research we dispatched, researcher we dispatched to the school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. He took sample HB. 
0.087, the human head. We have not confirmed that he is armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our revival squad should be taking care of everything quickly. Please help yourselves. The cheese Danish are rather good. <laughs> yeah, round and evil. Have these brutes no mercy? Though I did agree to this from the start. Ho 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 ho. We seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Miss Terry. They suddenly ask that I give you to them, and to think that until now they considered you worthless. I was the one who preserved you so beautifully. You like the jar, do you not? Do you know the mere exposure of that? It states that one can become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with them. A conundrum indeed. I think perhaps I have felt no emotion since I acquired you. But we have little time left together, I fear. I do not like the idea of hanging on hanging you over to them, so I think I shall break you once more. Of course, I do not wish to force you into a double suicide. Suicide? It was murder. You, you murderized me and put my head in a jar. I shall break this glass only after confirming your feelings. You loved me, did you not? It's Madoka all over again. Oh, thank you. I am so glad I got to kill you. Good night, Miss Terry. Contact in the water, left side. Weapons free, take him down. Well. Well. Okay, apparently he has two endings. Let's see which one that one was. See what achievement it gives me. We got um the happy couple. Okay. Okay. So apparently we can get the other ending by doing all the same things except for not math class. But I'm just going to Google this real quick. All right, so here we go. We're going to breeze through another game. We're going to breeze through another because apparently this has a different ending, but all the rest of it should be the same. So, um So yeah, we're going to we're going to breeze through. Um so we can see his other ending. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. And here we go. I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged in a sweet embrace with a stack of papers at his desk. He didn't even look at me, and from his voice, he wants me to leave. Do you know what the day is, doctor? February 3rd. Okay, so this seems to be the same. So we give him the beans. And then he insults us. And talks about... <laughs> Obby position. I mean, I guess if it's a dating sim about birds where you're a human, Obby position has to come up at some point. It's just natural. <laughs> it, it must be. Why else? Okay. Next scene. The year's almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday. Infirmary duty today. The doctor's not here yet? The infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. The orderly rows of medicines, the neatly made, but, huh? Something stinks in here. Okay, so this is still the same. Okay, we got the craziness. Oh my god. Someone's dead. Oh my god, it's Yuya. He's gonna come ambush us. Yep. Still the same. And then he locks the door. I swear to God, that door lock sound sounds like a, you know, a gun, like a rifle talking sound effect. But it's supposed to be the door. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's all the same so far. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, we realize. Yep. No, he was delicious, apparently. Not tough at all. I mean, obviously I must have had feelings for you, sir. He has only one love, the research. 
gonna preserve only my head. Okay, so that still happens. <clears throat> it's still gonna kill me and put my head in a jar. Oh, but then it just ends. Oh, so we get the extra scene. So we get the extra scene if we take math each time. Holy cannoli. My God. Yeah, and then we have, you have beautiful eyes. Such beautiful eyes you have, ending number nine. Okay, so we got all of these endings. We got number, what is this? Yeah, number one, we got number four, we got number eight, number nine, and number ten. Yay! That was fantastic. Appreciate you guys. All right, so um, next week on Artistic License, we're going to be playing more Hatoful Boyfriend. It's going to be fucking awesome. I am absolutely loving this game. I cannot wait to play more. So for those watching the VOD on YouTube, um, thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.